Hello, everyone. Welcome. I hope Hello. you're ready for an exciting fans q and session because uh, today we have on board one of the world's top setters. Um, leader of um, the team of Himoko Volley Corneliano, reigning champions in Champions League. I'm really happy to say hello to Johanna Volos, Asha. <laughs> Hi. Hi, hello everyone. Yes, I'm excited for these uh, questions and curious also. Kind of stressed, but we will see. No, don't, don't be stressed. Uh, we have some amazing questions. Uh, we have been like receiving them for the past 24 hours and more. People okay. are really curious to get to know you better, so I'm also happy to convey their messages and their questions to you. But before starting, I just wanted to remind that uh, Pinaliano is playing the Super Finals of the Champions League, and uh, funny enough, you're going to meet again uh, your last year's opponents from Baki Bank. The match is scheduled uh, for um, May 22nd, so yeah, while we are waiting for this big clash, uh, Let's uh, get some answers to those questions. <laughs> okay, yes. yes. So said, okay. Of course, people are curious to uh, get to know you better and uh, get to know, um, to understand how do you feel regard in regards to the upcoming Super Finals. Um, and the big question, the big opener of this session will be, who will win? We have one question like this. <laughs> oh my God. For, uh, best, the best first question and the most yeah. uh, difficult. I hope it's the only this question would be the most difficult. Um, well, I don't know. I don't know. I hope my team, but uh, I think it will be like a great battle, a great game. And uh, yeah, there will be like the game between like two of the best teams. So I think. Um, also, how we arrive after our um, finals in uh, our home league, uh, how fresh we will be. I think this will be like the very important uh, thing. Uh, of course, I say like I hope my team win, but uh, I think first of all that we will give uh, to all of, of the fans and everybody uh, the big uh, um, Big, spec uh, spectator. big show, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah actually. Yeah. As you yeah. mentioned, yeah, um, Corneliano and Vakit Bank are also the two dominating teams in the past years, uh, meeting in all, almost all the finals. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure people are uh, looking forward to this uh, big clash. Yeah, and I just to, yeah, to remind people that uh, Corneliano are meeting Vero Vole Monza in the Italian league, while Vakit Bank are playing Fenerbahce. So, big clashes as well. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Uh, it will, de will, will depend a lot on uh, how, how. Yeah, I, I hope like both team, especially my team, will show like our best, and uh, then I think, of course, like between us, like always the result is open. So I hope, uh, of course, I hope we defend this uh, this cup, uh, but it will be for sure difficult. And uh, yeah, we'll actually, see. yeah, we have another question related to the super finals. Uh, um, uh, it kind of it kind of leads us to to what we are talking about. What will be the most important aspect of this final against the Kif Bank, or maybe a special player that you need to pay special attention to? Oh well, how I said before, um, I think the most important thing would be how fresh we arrive after our really like um, difficult uh, finals games uh, and long series. Uh, of the home um, home uh, championship, uh, but then of course, uh, okay, both of team has uh, their own leaders now. We have uh, we can say Paola. Uh, they have uh, Isabel Hack, of course. Clutch, yeah. <laughs> this would be like the probably for everyone like the uh, great uh, show between them two. Uh, but then I, back if bug, okay, you cannot uh, even like s show and see like uh, some um, weak part of this team. They are playing really good. They have all players are amazing, uh, same as us. So I think it will depend of the day, I think, of our. Um, okay. Uh, yeah. Current shape of the day, maybe. Uh, exactly. How you enter the day. Yeah. Okay. It's been an amazing season, actually, in general, in the Champions League. And usually we have a question for the people that we are interviewing. Uh, fans are asking about the dream team. But your 
the question to you is the dream team of the Champions League this season. Can you do it? <laughs> Oh, my God, difficult. Uh, of course, I, I put the dream team of my team <laughs> because uh, I'm feeling great here. We are uh, with all difficulties. We still arrive to the final and we are like so happy and so excited about that. Uh, we had some uh, difficult moments in this season, but uh, we are still alive and we did it. Uh, I think it's difficult question and like still like playing B during the the most important part of the season choosing who uh, which player is the best for me I, I don't want to do it you know like uh, yeah. for me, all players are amazing like uh, even for Vaki for for my team or other teams uh, and we all always trying to do our best and like saying who is the best in the moment I think it's just like really uh, so you Straight. want to give credit yeah, to exactly. your team and to everyone that uh, has yeah, been like, doing well. Each team, like uh, each team has the players who are special in some particular things, you yeah. know. And, uh, you cannot say exactly who is the best. Okay. Well, let's get a bit uh, personal. When did you start with volleyball? And uh, actually, what's your story? Well, my story, uh, like... I start pretty and like not so much early because I I heard like some of my friends that they start like when they're like seven or like even like okay. young yeah. you know I think around ten and um, I always watch my brother older brother because he was also a volleyball player and I was uh, he was my first idol basically I was like watching him all the time trying to play with him of course it was difficult because he's like eight years older than me and. I was really annoyed, uh, annoying uh, sibling. <laughs> oh, each step that he's doing, <laughs> making. <laughs> yes, exactly. So I was following following him uh, all the time, but uh, eventually, like I start to love volley volleyball because of him. And yeah, then he's maybe... still playing. Sorry for interrupting. No, he he <laughs> stopped. Uh, he he quit. Oh my God! Now three or more, three or four years ago. So yeah, he, he has also like pretty long uh, career, like um, left home when he was 17, playing until 33 or 35, I think. Yeah. So yeah. Your inspiration. Actually, we had another question like this uh, about your volleyball idol or volleyball inspiration. In the beginning, it was your brother, but do you have nowadays another inspiration or another source of... Uh... It's always a difficult question. Sometimes I answer, but like on the time now, like uh, when I'm like a little bit like older and more experienced, I think I didn't have like one idol. Like okay. I like to watch different players and like took something for each of uh, of them. First of all was like Magdalena Shiva, who was like the, the, the setter in the national team. And uh, then was Kasia Skorupa, that she's now my, my one of the best friends. And I really like uh, watching her, how she's playing. Uh, I don't know, like from men like Bruno or like the Czech call, like really like um, I try to, of my position, I try, I try to, and I like to watch something from each of them, you yeah. know, and, uh, choose something for me, what I like, because it's not like I like, all like player like i like some skills that are um, some parts of yeah the skills maybe that each one of uh, these big uh, names of setters are showing and um have you always wanted to become a setter no at all no not at all not what? at all <laughs> i was always like trying when i okay i was like pretty short when i started volleyball i was like 159 or something and it was uh, okay my first coach he really like um he hoped, and I also hoped that I will like I will grow. grow. Yeah. But like the, this period was like really like slow. I think in one year, like when I was like 15, I grow a lot. But okay, and I was like, always trying to attack. I like my my brother was also position four, so like I like how he hit, you know. And like I think I had pretty good arm, uh, but. I remember my first coach, uh, I had um, the meeting with him and he was like, okay, Asha, listen, what do you want to become uh, in the future? Or good position for like playing like 
maybe in A1 or like the, 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 the highest league or like be like somewhere like, you know, not so yeah, yeah, yeah. or like be the best setter. And I was like, okay, that's a fun. <laughs> okay, let's let's try with B setting, etc. You know, and uh, yeah. so far I like I I'm glad that I uh, made this decision. I'm glad that my coach pushed me to make this decision. And yeah, here I am. So it was a rational decision to say so. And um, is there something in this position, this role, that you can say is like the the most important thing for being a good setter? And on the other hand. The hardest, what is the hardest, the, the most difficult thing about being a setter? I know it's a, like a wide open question, yeah. <laughs> but people want to know. <laughs> uh, I think the hardest one is uh, to keep like kind of this pressure and this responsibility that uh, basically all actions are passing by your hands, you know, and okay. the end like, uh, okay, there are like people that are making points, thanks God for them but um, like this pressure to make to make good decisions you know yeah. uh, to set to the right uh, player maybe in important moments um, yeah this is the most important like the most difficult for me at least uh, so. the other thing is like um, you know like um, we don't have so much uh, like for setter um, it's difficult to find a moment that basically, uh, I don't know, you can hit, you know, like the, the spikers, or like, yeah, attacker, like spikers yeah. are hitting hard and like put all the, I don't know, even frustration that you keep in your side yeah, and yeah. Yeah. like put all emotion, emotions and all power out. But like for me, like growing and like uh, playing uh, for, for years, I really appreciate the moment that I said good ball, you know, and I feel such a um, satisfaction, you know, after when yeah. I set the ball and like I give to to my player like the best possibility to make a point. This is like something that like my heart is growing, you know. Yeah, well, actually, there's one question: if you have a favorite set, I mean, like uh, behind, or do you have like favorite trick or set? <laughs> uh, no, I think it's coming with the moment. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I like. Uh, um, playing like maybe back uh, with Robin. Uh, oh, I think the best one. Oh my God, this is like the best <laughs> one. Uh, like playing the um, pipe over the first uh, first tempo. Right. You know, right. I think it's amazing. This is like men's mm, volleyball, but like for me, like this ball is like uh, the best. Well, looking forward to see some of it on <laughs> in Ljubljana. Um, you mentioned that you wanted to, like, you like to attack, but there's a question uh, if you have tried being a libero and if you have enjoyed it, if yes. With all my love to Moki, uh, <laughs> not all, like, she's the best one and I love her and, like, really, like, but no, I think libero I could never be because um, I think my bugger is, uh, okay, in defense I'm, like, pretty okay, but, like, Passing reception is like my nightmare, so I couldn't be the libero. <laughs> Name your top three best setters in the world, men, women. Uh, top, top like three from uh, men's and uh, women. Yeah, yeah. If you can. Okay, difficult, but okay, but mm, okay. <laughs> for all time. Yeah, for all time. Let's do all time. Okay, it's difficult to choose three the best setters over time, but, but like there are a lot of like many of greats like Maya Ognjevic, for uh, before like Fofao, now even like Bruno the Checo, they are still like killing them, uh, killing it. Uh, I don't know, like really really difficult question. Like Leo Bianco, I like to watch them all, you know. Oh. There is more than top three then. <laughs> oh, yeah, yes, for sure. Like, tell me like top 10. <laughs> well, when you have time, maybe you can share on your Instagram with your fans, <laughs> top 10 of your favorite best setters. Is there a player that you have like uh, dreamed of playing with, but never had the opportunity to? Uh, for sure, there are like a lot of great players, you know, that like when you watch them, mm, it would be amazing to play with, but 
I think uh, uh, I try to think like in present or like where I am. Like I think I was like really lucky to play with such an amazing players in uh, in the past and even now. So like I'm just taking that what I have right now. Yeah. You know? Great. Another question, of course, people want to know what is it like to play with uh, Paolo Ivano you <laughs> on the court? Yeah. Ah, it's uh, it's great. I I love it. I love it, and um, we are playing now three seasons together. It's the third season that we are playing together. Okay, two and a half because we had COVID in, uh, and lockdown, yeah. uh, right. unfortunately. But uh, yeah, it's it's great. Like she's she, she can become like really the the biggest of the all time because like she has everything to to do she's it. She's so know, young. Like, yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, her okay. physical, her everything, it's like uh, just amazing and uh, yeah, it's good, It's I, I like it. And do you miss playing with uh, Kim Hill? Yeah, I played, uh, we had so, so much fun uh, for four seasons. Uh, we, we won a lot of great things together and yeah, we had so much fun. Let's talk a bit about the national team, you are uh, joining them again and uh, Quote, fans are very happy that you're joining the team again, the national team again. How do you feel? Um, excited, uh, a little bit uh, nervous too, because uh, I'm coming back after two seasons. Um, and yeah, I'm curious how it be, you know, like uh, will be really difficult time for sure, because uh, I, I saw how it is, and I like um, like my free time and I, my time to recovery be between the clubs. So it will probably be so difficult to to do it all and like has um, no stop. Yeah, to be again in this uh, kind of yeah, like goals. But yeah, I hope like we can uh, achieve our goals and just improve as a as a team because. Well, actually, that's the next. Sorry, go on. <laughs> but because I think like still like our national team uh, like deserve to to be on some like like level up you know yeah okay well actually that's what the next question what is your goal with the national team this year and maybe if you're looking forward to Paris 2024 uh, my goal is to to go to Paris and this is the main reason that I'm coming back uh, of course, uh, to to go to Paris like this season will be so important. Next season will be so important. We need to uh, take our points to the ranking to have like the best opportunity to qualify. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, for me, my goal and my main goal is Olympics to go because I never was, and this is my dream. And I heard a lot of stories from my teammates. Uh, that it's like such a great tournament and such a great adventure to be there. So yeah, I think it's the one thing that I missed in my career. Yeah, that you need to do before like uh, retiring maybe. <laughs> um, actually, what do you consider your biggest achievement? Maybe not like hypothetically if we go to the Olympics, but up, up until now. Or what is your biggest achievement to you? Until now, um, I think, oh, there was, uh, of course, like the greatest, yeah, many. <laughs> the greatest thing I, I won with Imoko, and this is true, and I will not uh, even uh, make it doubt, but um, that was the, the greatest thing was like, to win the um, uh, World, World Club Championship uh, two years ago. Okay. Uh, but also last season, the Champions League. I think this is like the two things that I will remember for a long time. One question from me, what about the Guinness record? <laughs> oh, this is like, this is the like nice thing, you know, but like we didn't receive nothing for that. It will just remind in our mind. It was like uh, almost two years of, uh, a lot of stress, okay, winning 76 uh, games, but a uh, lot of stress behind that. And this is just like some extra thing. But like the main thing for me was like Champions League last year because it was the first one that I won. 
so it's always like the first things taste the best. Yeah, remember, yeah. And um, world world club champion, club world championship. Yeah, two years ago you mentioned. Um, you mentioned that like for attackers, it's good when they for spikers when they spike, they can like if they are angry, they can like I don't know free themselves from this anger. And while setter need to be like always concentrated. And actually, there is one girl asking, "You are always cheerful and full of energy." How do you do that? Do you meditate? Ah, like I'm in full of uh, energy. Yeah, she said, yeah, yeah. Like they see your smile, you're full of energy and they want to know how do you keep like these kind of like levels of energy also uh -huh. the matches. Do you meditate is the question as well. <laughs> Oh, no, no, I, I didn't. Maybe I should sometimes, it will help <laughs> to start more quiet. quiet. <laughs> and, but I don't know, like I say, like um, uh, even like the giving, the, the setting the ball to the, my players, to my teammates. And like when I see like they are making an amazing fun, like this gives me like a lot of energy. So I like to um, enjoy this moment with them. And sometimes like, I trying to be like really calm and don't say nothing, but sometimes I also need uh, to like maybe scream, uh, scream out all my emotions. And I think like um, I'm good balance. Sometimes I I'm like really calm. Sometimes I really explode. Uh, and I don't know how I do it, but uh, it's just you. <laughs> yeah, it's being just, you. Um, you know. Yeah. Which is the most memorable game that you played? It's kind of related to what you said about the most, uh, maybe the biggest achievement that you had. Uh, these games is so many already happened, like a lot of games, but maybe the best one was like really this uh, semi-final with Bucky Punk two years ago okay. on uh, World, uh, Clubs World Championship. Uh, this is amazing game and like. Can really, you remind us the result? Sorry. It was three two for us, but like uh, we came. I don't know, like uh, tiebreak finish in twenty two twenty one twenty or twenty one nineteen or something. I don't remember uh, exactly, yeah. but like it was basically like just the uh, ball, like point by point, and like until the last referee, also yeah, yeah the yeah. last moment. I think it was like, to, like to win the semifinals and uh, uh, comes to the final was like the, I think will stay in my mind in my memory for long like forever. And one last question, curious also uh, for me: Why are you called Asia? <laughs> Asha. 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 Sorry, sorry. Asha. Asha. Uh, it's basically it's my name. Uh, okay. okay, my. Formal name is Joanna, but the short part, uh, it's always difficult to like to, um, explain to the people because it doesn't make sense basically. But Joanna is like my formal name. Uh, the short part is like short, like nickname is like Asha for, for okay. you. So it's basically my name, Asha. Like in Poland, everybody are calling me Asha, you know? Joanna okay. is maybe more formal, more official, which, okay, sometimes I like, but I need to say, like, I don't feel that old to use Joanna, you know? I have the same thing, you know, like with Victor and Vicky, so yeah. But yeah, we, uh, there is no, it's not a nickname, it's nothing, it's just like your name in Poland, Asha. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you very much again for taking the time uh, to joining us today. I believe it's been really, really interesting. I do hope that people now get to know, just know you better. Um, yeah, reach out to her maybe if you have uh, if you have further questions. Good luck to the super in the super finals. We are uh, looking forward to an amazing game. Uh, just to remind you, uh, tickets are on sale if you want to go to Ljubljana and watch uh, Asha and uh, Corneliano meet Jackie Bang. Or if you can't go on site, you can also watch on Eurovolley TV. All the information is on our website. Thank you very much, and uh, see you next time. Thank you. And remember, you cannot miss it this final. So watch it everywhere. <laughs> Thanks. Bye. Bye-bye.